This video is sponsored by Invato. What's up guys, how you all doing? Photo manipulation, reviewing, reacting, or critiquing, or whatever you wanna call it. So basically we're gonna view your amazing work, we're gonna talk about it, break it down, and the whole idea of this video is that all of us as artists can get inspired and learn from each other's work. I'm really excited, I took a sneak peek over some photos when I was downloading them on the email. Some people even sent us their PSD files, I'm really excited, let's go. So, photo number one by Azghul Nasser. I know where you got that idea from bro but I really like it and I really tell people when they are trying to learn Photoshop to follow online tutorials and then do it their own different way. I really like this. He turned that top view island into the apple apple I guess. Okay the things I would change about this photo is first this is a bit of distracting because the main focus is on the apple. Uh, this is like creating unbalanced image. It was fine if you would have had something like to compensate it from that side. So we have like two sides, but only one on the top. It's not like nice. One more thing I would change about this image is the orientation, I guess. It's not perfectly centered. I always, I know I'm a little bit OCD, but make sure you always have your work either centered or in the thirds. And I would also like make it just a little bit bigger because like the areas around doesn't have much, it's just water. But thank you Azghul for participating. And photo number eight, I was like the first second I saw this photo, I was like, wow, what's happening? It took me some time to figure out like, how this photo was done this is the guy like he's jumping i don't know if he's jumping from up down or from down up this is like so far of a distance i guess to be jumped in one photo this photo like really boggled me but i love the idea that he's like he's taking different photos and combining them together i'm gonna show you really quick actually how you can do something like that the boring way to do it and the exciting way to do it let me zoom out a little bit so the boring way to do something like that is by just sitting here pretending you're talking or something like that then sitting on the other side pretending again you're talking somehow but how we can make something like that a bit more interesting I'm gonna show you right now Basically what you could do is create some sort of an interesting story like that for example And then the other photo will be something like And then all you have to do is put the two photos on top of each other, do some boring, boring, boring selections and mask the image. Let's add like some sort of a gradient map. Let's color one of the t-shirts. Let's give one of them red and let's go to the other one and give him the opposite contrasting color, something bluish. Yeah, and of course, let's make sure we remove all imperfection, <clears throat> if you know what I mean. And finally, let's spice things up. Let's add some sort of a flame, something as if they are in actual fight war scene. And a very quick break and let's take a word from our sponsor Invato. Invato Elements is like a huge online library with all the stocks you ever need. You can find rare photos for your manipulations to work with. You can get your sound effects for your videos as well, like the shutter camera sound I used to implement that I'm taking a picture. And not only that, if you search for Hustler, you will surprisingly find Hustler font. Which I find really cool. Also, if you search for any word, it will tell you exactly how many assets from all different categories does that word has. And they have a lot of categories like stock photos, stock videos that you can view quickly by hovering the mouse over and choosing to download if you want to use them as a b-roll in your video. They also have graphics, templates, sound effects, presentation, 3D assets, music, ready video templates, fonts, photoshop, actions, add-ons, website templates and even more. So make sure you check them out using the link in the description to get a discount and get access to unlimited download. And photo number three by Amok Productions. 
Thank you so much for this photo. He also was so generous. He gave us his PSD file. I really like this photo first of all because this place is shot in Egypt. I'm Egyptian. I really like this uh, the fact that like I could see like people doing manipulation of Islamic architecture of Egypt. Really amazing. Also, I like everything about this photo, the mood, the vibes, everything. I like the like he's having the cat looking at the person. She's reading like some sort of a book. I like that the chair is somehow tilted. Although this leg seems like it's going under the other leg, but it's not like a big deal. I like everything about this photo. But I'm gonna show you one really nice trick you could do. I'm gonna merge everything. This is I do it like you should also do it as an artist to critique your own work. So I'm gonna go filter, blur, gosh and blur. I'm gonna blur everything like really strongly, something like that. Then I'm gonna take a look at it. This works. There's another way actually to do it without blur. Just do your eyes like that while reviewing the photo. You will add your own natural blur. But let's do it this way. Let's take like a red color. What, what I see when I blur everything now, it's just like color and light. So I see here a spot I don't like. I also see here a spot which is like of a different color. Here also we have like some sort of a bright spot. And finally here we have a spot I think I don't like. I don't know what that spot is. This one, no, this one is okay. I was gonna like mark this one. But then when I close the layer, I realized it's the just the sofa so we have like four spots here 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 and there so mainly we have this area i would like fix it by doing some sort of a clone stamp so it doesn't attract the eye also this table down below it's like kind of useless i guess it's taking the eyes for nothing uh, i don't know if we can fix this part because this is just like light hitting the ground but my problem was it's too blue compared to like the red tones and everything so I would just take a new layer take like some sort of like a brown color change the blending mode to color and just color it with brown I know this is like too bad it's too strong but let's just lower the opacity so we kill some sort of a blue and finally the lamp I don't know why the lamp is actually blue uh, I know you tried maybe to do like some sort of contrasting colors uh, But I don't know I just it doesn't work for me I guess if the whole mood was the same color it was gonna be better unless if you wanted to have some sort of a blue color The blue color could have been somewhere here Around the model where the eyes were supposed to go not somewhere away where the eyes will look like at the edge of the image However, this is I guess one of my favorite photos so far I really like everything I like the light beam that's hitting I like the uh, dust uh, particles flying in the air I like everything thank you so much Amok for giving us the PSD so we can look through it number four this photo is like it took me somewhere outside of earth I guess although it's shot I guess in New York or San Francisco I don't know exactly the place but there is something about this photo that can make it really nice or really bad first thing is I'm gonna just like crop it down as you can see the, like the model of course is not centered I don't know why guys you don't center the model please make sure your model is either centered or in the rule of thirds so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna center the model and I'm gonna crop the sides the sides are kind of useless they are dead space so I'm just gonna crop it 4 by 5 Instagram ratio so this is a guy standing maybe in like some sort of a different planet looking at earth he's totally alone so the things I would change is there is some person walking here so just make sure if you're having like some sort of alone photo don't have people in the background also like the lamp post is some sort of technology so I'm gonna get rid of the lamp post the buildings are a little bit tilted they are not straight this is called dutched angle this is usually used to give like the implementation in movies where they dutch the camera to give the thought that there is something is not okay so maybe in this like you're in on a different planet you're alone so it can work like as a dutch angle so things are not okay there's like a different gravity something like that so if i if it was me i would do like one of the two things either i'll just make it like totally straight so it's just a normal photo or i'm gonna make sure like the dutch angle is so strong so we make sure people would understand this is not just like an error i meant 
to do it like that to give the like the viewer the impression that we're in a different planet the gravity is different everything is not okay but thank you so much number seven by Shoaib Sheikh I guess this was one of my favorite photos I really loved the mood the vibe everything about this photo is so amazing I love the colors I love the mood they are like two astronauts I love that slim lighting on the back of his head here and like on the planets and everything everything is so so amazing two things just like when I look closer like at the bottom area I didn't like the fact that we had like a lot of dead space it's just pointless it's just like all the same color also one thing I always love to do when checking my photos is I love to open where is it it's called like the histogram the histogram and then I'll take a look at the photo let's make it control shift U totally black and white as you can see this is where our photo is this is like the dark areas these are the bright areas on the right and on the left so as you can see this photo is nothing but dark areas so why not make use of the big dynamic range usually the best image is gonna be 70% dark 30% bright or 30% dark and 70% bright so I'm gonna use like just like 10% and I'm just gonna brighten just a little bit of these edges so we give it more dynamic range and more like contrast in the photo but overall Shaib Sheikh thank you so much for submitting this amazing beautiful image I really loved it photo number nine by Naim Khan I specifically chose this photo to show two things the first thing was the negative space I talked about when you have something that's useless I guess by just cropping this image something like that it would have been much much better because the edges are black anyways the second thing I want to talk about is your signature down here this is really taking away from the eye you're putting it white on top of a black so it's definitely taking away from your eye don't put it in the images just put it in the caption below and the second way you can see like an artist called Caleb he's putting his name in his photos in a really creative way so you can look into that photo number 10 by Monty Sarkar this photo when I first looked at it I thought it's one image and I really liked it but then as I looked closer I realized it, it's actually a composite he added like the girl in this image but it's really looking nice he blended everything really beautifully and I love the fact that the lady is here there's like the aeroplane there's the car the colors everything is really nice about this photo and as you can see here he added his name like very small it's not taking the eye like the photo before but I still would have preferred if the name was some sort of like on the t-shirt or on the jeans or something or on the shoes or something like that maybe like the logo of the car is his name one thing I noticed when I zoomed in left the floor of like the old image and the problem is like the old image floor is in focus while the new one is kinda out of focus so I'm just gonna take the blur tool very quickly and just try to blur them both together so it looks more realistic and I guess much better so it doesn't take the eye away but really amazing amazing work if you look at this photo from far away like I'm looking now you're not gonna notice it's like manipulated or anything it looks very real Thank you Monty for submitting your photo. Number 11 by Shandrish Artworks. These are the, like the type of photos that you just like sit back and keep enjoying how beautiful they look. A very beautiful scene, a very nice story where it's like there is like a shipwreck and there's birds flying around and everything. Everything is really really beautiful. The only comment I would add on this photo I guess is I guess my eyes all the time were looking here these areas like were completely dead so I guess the better way to do it or like the better way to move the eye all around the, the image you wanna like make a story where the viewer look all around your photo is if you added here some sort of like a skill element or people or some people walking like towards the ship however if you wanted this scene to remain as if it's like a shipwreck and it's abandoned place where no one is here maybe you should have added like some sort of like ship 
wreck here and there like there's some sort of like broken elements here and there just some contrast elements so the eyes would go and come back go and come back in your image but amazing amazing beautiful scene thank you for submitting this beautiful matte painting and now photo number 13 by Lukern Lukern no I, I hope I'm saying your name properly bro but this photo is really really amazing he also sent me a video like on Vimeo the thing I love the most about this image is the story behind of it if you look closer at the photo you're gonna notice all the details the struggle this guy is like feeling or living if you look like he, this guy feels like he's some sort of a frustrated and there's blood dots all in his back these are like some sort of a wings that's causing him pain or something like that I really love this image the only thing that actually caught my eye was this spot here this is a high contrast spot so I'm just gonna dodge it just a little bit because like the contrast took my eyes I want the eye like to be completely focused on this area not going anywhere down also I guess this standalone tree wasn't really necessary so I guess getting rid of it so the eyes are more looking at the top of the image but thank you so much look now for submitting your image okay so looking at this photo i was really really amazed i loved every single thing about this photo i kind of felt like i'm somewhere here burning along with this reindeer everything the color choice i love the fact that it's all red 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 everything is like not red like orange like warm tones I really really love this photo this is the type of photos I would not touch or just change anything about beautiful work thank you MFUC for submitting this image and the final image by Jahangir Alam I really love this image I loved how you did like everything like it's not a new idea but you did it in a very good way also I'm gonna like talk about this image like we did before when I opened the histogram of this image i realized everything is somewhere in the dark there are no bright areas although although you have like some sort of like the like is putting light on your face so if i would change something about this image i would just take like let's say let's go to the camera row filter let's do it from there i'm just gonna like take the adjustment brush tool increase the highlights the whites like the clarity dehaze brightness everything and i'm just gonna make everything around your face and where the light is coming from brighter and i'm gonna press ok and i guess this is the only thing i would change i love the flying particles i love everything about this photo thank you jahangir for submitting your image and your photoshop file so great great job for everyone who participated thank you for sending your photos to me i know many of you were expecting me to review their photos but i'm really sorry i had something like 400 image i couldn't review all of them so i chose only the ones that i found somehow different and we can talk about and learn something from but it's not over i'm gonna do a lot of these review sessions i really enjoyed doing it actually but now i'm thinking of ideas whether i should continue reviewing your photos or maybe we should start reviewing the hollywood scenes like maybe the photo manipulation or the matte painting in famous hollywood movies or maybe i should take one artist like a, a very well-known artist that everyone likes and maybe break down their style and talk about their photo manipulations how it's different and me actually trying to perform one of their photos and seeing what are the obstacles i face and what make these artists really unique in their own style i'm a bit confused so maybe you can help me by writing in the comment section down below what type of reviewing or reaction sessions you would love to see me doing and until next time guys peace out